there are five kinds of duplicate problems in this file. In this column, I have got many names duplicated. In this column, the name and department combination is duplicated. So for example, Amitabh function in HR has appeared twice. And here I have got some cells with occasionally the values are duplicated. For example, Brittany cubes here repeated twice in that cell. And further down here, I have got a list of values and I want to keep the latest value by looking at the date as well. And then the fifth problem is I have got two lists and I want to combine them and then remove the duplicates. In this video, let's understand how we can remove duplicates in Excel using various techniques. Let's go. We can use both manual and formula based techniques to remove the duplicates. For this one, the easiest way to get rid of duplicates is just select this data and then go to the data ribbon and click on this remove duplicates button. When you click OK, it's going to take out all the five duplicate values and leave you with the correct data. I'm going to undo this step for a minute. Let's say you don't want to remove the duplicates. You just want to identify them. Then what you can do is you can keep the selection on and instead go to the home ribbon, click on conditional formatting, highlight duplicate values. You can change the red coloring to something else by using this buttons here. When you click OK, all the duplicate values will be highlighted in a different color so you can compare them and make a decision yourself. Let's say you don't want to do this manually. You would rather look at this list and extract by removing all the duplicates. This is where the unique function comes in handy. You just go to the cell and type unique and then select the list. So here my list is C5 to C25 and when I hit enter on this, I'll get a list without any of the duplicates. If you look at this here, I have got Viswanathan Anand twice in the list, once here, once there. But in this list, that person will only appear once. We can apply the same idea for this set of data as well. You just select both the columns and then go to the data ribbon and click on remove duplicates. And this time we want to look at both name and department column and remove the duplicate. So you will keep both of these columns checked. And when you click OK, it's going to identify the three duplicate combinations and remove them. Again, I'm going to undo that step and then show you how to do this with formula. You can use the same unique function again, unique, and this time select the entire range. Note that here my range is F5 to G18. And when you hit enter, again, all the duplicates will go off and you will end up with 11 values. A note of caution about this unique function, it is only available in Excel 365 and Excel on the web. This next one is a bit tricky. Let's say you have got some names in a cell and you want to look at all the values inside the cell and remove any duplicates. So for example, here I have got Brittany cubes at SheWalk and Brittany cubes again, and I want to remove the second Brittany cubes. This is where, unfortunately, there is no direct screen option to do it. You will have to use the unique function or Power Query to do this. I'm going to show you how to do this with Excel formulas. To make this task simple, I'm going to copy this list and put it in a new sheet here. Now here, I want to remove the duplicates and list the values. To do this, first up, what we are going to do is we are going to use the text split function. This is a new function in Excel 365 that can look at a value and split it by any of the delimiters. Here, the delimiter is comma and space. So I'm going to say text split B4 within double quotes, comma, space, and close bracket. This is going to generate a list of three values and spill them across the screen. Brittany cubes, Ed Shebok, and Brittany cubes again. We will now send this text split output to the unique function. So if I say unique of text split, I was thinking it's going to remove this second Brittany cubes, but it didn't. This is because unique function is designed to work with the vertical data, whereas my text split is producing a horizontal listing. That's not a problem. In the unique function, you also have a by call option. So I'm going to say by call and then say true for that. And now the second Brittany cubes is gone. 
we didn't mean to split the values we still want to remove the duplicates but then combine everything into one value so once the unique has finished its job we will then send it back to text join which is a text combination function so it's kind of reverse of text split and here we will say is comma space as the delimiter and for ignore empty we'll just ignore that value and close bracket so now this cell with any duplicates are removed and you will get a updated value here you just drag this formula down and all the cells will now have their duplicates removed for example here in this cell we can see that the band name crickets has repeated twice and in the final output here there is only one crickets when you want to look at the data but remove any duplicates that are older and just keep the latest value the process is somewhat similar to how we have done here but before you do that you need to sort the data on the date column so you can select this entire data here and from the home ribbon apply the sort and filter options here and select custom sort and sort this data by date make sure that you are looking at the newest dates up top and click ok this is going to adjust this data in chronological order so that the oldest values are at the bottom so now that our data is sorted let's go ahead and keep only the latest value for each person and remove any older values so for example here if i look at harry s truman we have a record as of 6 june 2024 so any older record so for example here is one 1 april 2024 and here is one 26 may 24 so we don't re require all of those information to delete that we can select this data and go to the data ribbon and click on remove duplicates as we only want to look at the name column and not the date or value i'm going to uncheck those two and when you click ok you are going to end up with just 14 rows and six duplicate values will be removed you can see that harry s truman we have now their june value let's undo this process once and let's say you don't want to manually sort this data you want to look at this entire thing and then remove duplicates this is also simple with the unique function again i'm going to copy this data and paste it into a new sheet so we can see this here given this data here in this listing here i want to extract all the names and their latest date and values so here in the name column we can simply say unique and point to the name column here and that's going to remove all the duplicates and leave one item per person now for each person i want to ask the question what is their latest date and what is the corresponding value to get the latest date for any person we can use the max ifs function what this does is it looks at a range of values and returns the maximum value as excel dates are simply numbers i can simply say look at all of these dates we're going to lock this to c3 to c22 and then the criteria is the name column has to be this person here and when you close the bracket you're going to get the latest date for dwight d eisenlower let's apply date formatting on this Control shift 3 and we can see 10 june 24 there same as here as we want this date to go for all of these values it's a simple process of changing the last parameter of max ifs from g3 to g3 hash so now we'll get all the dates let's apply date formatting on all of them and we'll get the latest date the next thing that we want to ask is what is the value of that person on that date and here you can either use xlookup or filter if your data is going to have only one value per each date then i'm you can use filter function filter the value column and make sure it is absolute and name column is equal to this name here as we need two conditions we are going to put brackets around these and multiply both conditions with star and date column is equal to this date close bracket close bracket and you'll get the answer for the latest value for Dwight D Eisenhower and when you fill this formula down you're going to get the values for everybody else unfortunately we are not able to use the spill range operator for this filter function but you could use something like by row to automatically calculate all of those values
Our last duplicate challenge is a bit tricky. We have got two lists. First up, we want to combine both and then remove duplicates. Let's say you don't want to combine, you just want to look at both lists and see where the duplicates are. You can select the first list, hold down control and select the second list. That way you capture both of these lists and from home ribbon, conditional formatting, highlight duplicate values. You can see the duplicates even when they are across both lists. So for example, Dwight is duplicated in this list, but now Biden is duplicated across the lists. Let's say you now want to remove those duplicates. You can use the vStack function to first vertically stack the data. So we stack first range comma second range and that's going to give you a big range with all the values and just send this we stack to the unique function and boom you'll now have all the values without any duplicates. So that is how we can solve these five kinds of duplicate problems in Excel. But what if your data is not in Excel, it is coming from a text file or a database table. In that case, you can also use the data ribbon and Power Query here to load the data into Power Query and apply duplicate removal process right inside Power Query. I talk more about Power Query in this video on the screen. Check it out and learn how to use Power Query for data cleaning. I'll catch you there. Bye.